Hello friends, welcome back again. When the edit mode is on, we like another type of toolbar. So let's add it inside the activity gallery, just beneath the toolbar, add a relative layout that matches parent and wrap content. Give it an ID and name it edit bar. Inside of it, we'll need two things, two buttons, with wrap content and wrap content. The first one is the button close and the second one should be the button select all now for the select all we already have a resource so get background and set it to IC list which is this one here but for the close button we don't have it yet so let's create it right click on drawable new vector assets click here and look for close get this one here and round okay rename it to IC close remove this one here next finish add and if you look at IC list here we have the height set to 32 and the viewport set to 24 so close it and open IC close change height to 32 leave port to 24 and change width to 32 also this makes it bigger now here set background to IC close but I'd like the select all to be on the far right here so set align parent and set to true and let's add some padding here Padding end set to 16 dp. Padding starts set to 16 dp. And a default padding set to 8 dp. But by default, this one here should be gone. So set visibility to gone. And back to the gallery activity. Let's bring all of them here. Private var late init. Uh, edit bar of type view. Import it. Uh, and private var late in it button close of type image button copy paste this line here and switch from button close to button select all now in the on create let's bring them a toolbar find view by id r dot id dot edit bar and button close find view by id r dot id dot button close copy paste this here switch this to select all and this one to select all now inside the long click listener here we'd like to check if you're not already in edit mode we should switch toolbars otherwise do nothing so if m adapter is edit mode and edit bar is not visible yet visibility is equal to view dot gone then we should first of all hide the default toolbar here by setting the support action bar values to false here and here and then show the edit bar with visibility equals view dot visible and when the close button is clicked we should do the inverse thing here so copy this here Go up to the on create at the bottom here, button dot close, set on click listener, paste this, switch from false to true to show the default toolbar, the material toolbar, and hide the edit bar. But that is not enough. We should uncheck all the checkboxes. So records dot map to loop over all the records which are called it here and set is checked to false then update the adapter with set edit mode to false which in turn calls this method here and notify data set changed will update the recycler view and on the contrary when the select all is clicked set on click listener we should check or uncheck all the records. So first of all, we need a global variable here, private var, all checked. 
set to false by default. Then, here, when the button is clicked, if all checked is false, then it should become true, just like this, and vice versa. And all the records should follow it dot is checked equals all checked. And finally, update the adapter with notify dataset change. So what we've done here, if it was false, it becomes true. And then we update all the records from false to true and everything is checked. Otherwise, it was true and it becomes false and all the records are unchecked and the recycler view is updated. So now we can test this. First of all, we should see the back button working. Then if you long click here, we have the edit bar. If we click here, we have all the elements selected. Click again, everything is unchecked. Close and you're back again. So this is it for this video. And the next one, we will deal with the bottom sheet layout with two buttons, rename and delete. So thank you for watching and see you then.